Nice. That means that this morning, one day before, you wouldn't have this information. So mm, I believe that it could be better. Amazing. This is fantastic. Woo, 50% off. Nice. That's really not relevant at all. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Why? 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 My goodness, this is so important. You this is very bad. So tomorrow, the Women's Six Nations starts. I wanted to create some content and show where the players of the England squad uh, played. And then I thought, hmm, maybe I could extend to the other nations as well. Then I thought, where will I get this information? Well, let's check the, the tournament's website. And then I decided to make this video to review the content of the official website. Right, so let's go to the official website. Ta -da. Let's make it. Poof. There you go. Right, so you can see in 18 hours, 46 minutes, it's starting the first game, Wales versus Ireland. Nice. Cool. That's good. Okay, presentation. We have all the other Six Nations competitions here. Well, the menu, okay, piece of news, um, the countdown for the start of the competition, first round, who's playing who, what time, when, perfect, really, really good. The table, of course, it's blank for the moment. And then you have some videos, well, being TikTok, I guess you have lots of videos. I uh, just don't know what the format is, but we'll take a look later. And okay, and all the footer. But the only thing that I, it, it caught my attention is that in the social media part, they didn't put TikTok first. They put the last. Uh, interesting. But okay. Choices, yeah? Right. Fixtures and results. Have all the rounds here. Five rounds of pure action. Great action and lots of rugby and exciting games. But there's one thing that I think it would be really, really interesting to change is that you have the name of the stadium where they are playing, but you don't know the city where they're playing. So let's say a person like me, dumb enough, don't know where Kingston Park is. And as a matter of fact, I, I didn't know. So let's see, you click here. You get there, Kingston Park, have no idea where it is. Uh, unless, of course, you read, I think, ah, uh, here, yeah, Scotland team in Newcastle on certain, what happens if I click Newcastle? City Guide Newcastle, nice, that's pretty, pretty good. That's pretty good, okay, very impressed. Well done. Okay, let's go back. Still, should have Newcastle stated there. That would be much easier. Preview. Okay, I guess you get very well prepared for the match. This preview was posted seven hours ago. That means that this morning, one day before, you wouldn't have this information. So mm, I believe that it could be better. You could have some information at least here, and then maybe add it and up, update uh, later on. <clears throat> but, well, it is what it is. You have the teams here, and that's something that also, it's, I, I don't understand the, what was the thought, what was the, the choice, why the choice. Um, the first name, as you see here, is Abigail Dow. So why not Abidow? Ah. I, I, I really don't like pronouncing the names because uh, as I'm not a native speaker, I always mess up the, the pronunciation. So please forgive me. And then the next is Jess Bridge. So no, why not Jessica Bridge? Or maybe later on you have here Elizabeth Craig, but no, it's Lee's Craig. So uh, I don't understand why they chose to put Abigail Dow. Why not Abby Dow as everybody knows her choices choices right let's go back to fixtures um 
Let's see, Wales. Uh, what happened? Oh, okay. The preview six hours ago. Okay. Good thing is that they chose uh, pictures of the previous match, I believe, that the, the, the nations played each other. It's very thoughtful. And let's just take a quick look here. Italy and France. But then there's a picture of France and England. Hmm. Seven hours ago. So, yeah, okay. Another thing that is really good, you have the broadcast here. And one thing that I saw, it's already there for next year, 2024. I have all the dates, the matches, of course, and the broadcast. Amazing. This is fantastic. Love it. Well done. Moving on. TV broadcast. You have... The, an extensive list of where is it going to be broadcasted around the world. Perfect. You can have the grid. I'm guessing these are the ones broadcasting of the participating countries. But you can type another country um, to see. Probably it will go to that list. Okay, pretty good. Nice, very nice, nicely done. Fantasy, then it opens a new website and then you can play and whatever. This is something really, really nice to engage the audience. But I'm not playing this year because I don't, I can't find the time to make these videos. So I'm not making the time to play. Table. <laughs> right, you have the table. Perfect, simple, that's what it has to be. Statistics. 2022. Nice, lots of data here. Total points, tries, try assists. Lots and lots of things. By performers, full breakdown. My goodness. You have lots of data to, to look at from the teams, from each player. It's incredible. So this is from last year. Um, I guess, I hope that right after the, the match or at the end of the day, this will be uh, updated with the the new, the, this year's, the current um, tournament. Table statistics, sign up. Okay, here's to get the newsletter yes so you just add your things here okay good more so you have store let's take a quick look Woo! 50 percent off nice well lots of things i don't want to look at the store now about six nations rugby hmm let's see okay talk about six nations la 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 very general. Okay, rules. Now, look at this. Here it says, the championship takes place in February and concludes by the end of March. Really? And then, okay, you have how the point system works. Championship is decided as follows. And here, trophies and awards. Guinness Six Nations Championship Trophy. And na na na. A Guinness Man of the Match is presented. Guinness Player of the Championship. So... This is just a copy of the men's website. I mean, TikTok Women's Six Nations. Guinness Six Nations. Well, personally, I really don't like naming rights. Because at the end of the day, it's Six Nations. Who cares?
But again, this could be easily updated in two minutes. Uh, a bit of review would be nice, yeah? Contact us. Um, okay, so Six Nations Rugby Limited. All that. Message. Cool. Careers. Let's see if they have a vacancy for me. Mm, no. Okay. Uh, I would I, I would do a pretty good job uh, <laughs> uh, fixing this. <laughs> right. Teams. Um, let's go. Teams England. I think you have all the latest news re that are related to England, or maybe it's just this, the latest news in general. Fixtures and results. Let's take a look. So here you have all the fixtures of this year's tournament. But as you can see, you don't have where is it going to be played. Uh, like in the fixtures menu. there. Here you don't have, you don't have it. But you have the, the broadcast. That's good. Let's click here. Let's see. Then it takes to the, the same uh, page before where you have that. I don't know where it's going to play. Okay. Table. Blank. Okay. Squad. Now I have all, hmm, hmm, what is the, ah, okay, his alphabetical order uh, of the surname. Okay, that's fair. Okay, so this is something that I find interesting, because they put the positions that they play, but they play different positions in different games. Um, I'm guessing that, uh, well, it's just to have a... a some kind of guidance, where is their native position? Um, and, well, uh, thinking about that, uh, there are two things. One is that I don't know if it's bad that you don't have, like, a player for that position or if it's actually really good that these players are very skilled that they can play different positions. Maybe both. I don't know. Another thing, why is it relevant to have their weight? Why? Or have you ever seen a prop with zero kilos? I don't know. It did, that's really not relevant at all. And you start wondering if it's actually correct, updated. Don't really care. Okay, tickets, that's the fun part. <laughs> and then, why? 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 My goodness, this is so important. You want to make the people go to the stadium and leave, experience, and it's so great to watch these matches. But then here, you take a look and you see England versus France at Doncaster, Italy, in Exeter, and then England and Scotland in Twickenham. I don't know what, what happened here. What happened here? The Stadia, and then you have Doncaster, Exeter, and Twickenham. Well, they got Twickenham right. But tomorrow they are playing in Newcastle, if I hadn't read the, the piece of news there. And the other game will be in Franklin Gardens. That's Northampton. This is very bad. Italy. Tickets. Ah. Again. All wrong. They are playing in this stay in Parma here, not the other stadiums. Uh, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, by the way, the thing that I wanted to know is where they play. So let's see, squad. Let's put here, let's get Zoe Outcroft. Okay, date of birth, birthplace, team England. Honors, 38 caps. I think that something that is much more interesting than their way 
<laughs> is where they play, what club did they play. You can't find this information here. It's sad. Mm, squad. Let me see. Sam Monaghan. New York. Wait, height, weight. Why? Don't know. Information. Okay. So, uh, do I have? No. Let's go back here. Back. That it should have a link for let's say Twitter Irish rugby, okay, but not their website, huh? Entry, okay, official website, okay. Uh, news, let's take a look at the the, the players and here. It's something interesting. I wanted to know where do they play. But here is not really clear. For example, let's take Sam. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sam Monaghan. Says plays for Gloucester Hotbury. Yeah? Yeah. Then you go to Ireland, women, team, and go to Sam, and club, wasps, and IQ rugby. I reckon is where she started. I don't know. IQ rugby, and it 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 it. It's saying two clubs here every time, so it's not very clear. It, it it could be clearer. That is like the current team and maybe the start team. I'm just guessing. It's just so bad. It's so bad. Uh, Nicola Friday, Exeter Chiefs. Let's go again. Let's check that. Uh, where is she? Here. And then Blackrock. Why? Then you see, well, what I wanted to do, it, it is relevant. It, it's so simple, but it is relevant because you have all this misinformation around. And uh, I don't know, I guess it's just some lack of respect to the players, to the fans, and I don't know, all around. Less than a day to go and I guess some of this information could be better it's simple simple information it could be better it could be better I hope it will get better if you can't go to the matches please do watch um, on, on TV on the internet or whatever it's really really nice really entertaining great matches great players uh and make sure <laughs> we we share the correct information about the teams the players the championship so we can have a clearer image a clearer um knowledge about the 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 game and and then we can enjoy it much better And have fun, of course. Till next time.